Welcome to another very beautiful chess game of Paul Morphy. And in this game, Paul Morphy has the black pieces, and his opponent is Charles Dillingham Mead, who is playing with the white pieces. And this game was played in New York in 1857 in the first American Chess Congress. And Charles Mead starts the game with playing a funny move. He played h3 in the openings. And Paul Morphy played e5, e4, knight to f6, knight to c3, bishop to c5, bishop to c4, b5, sacrificing the b-pawn, bishop takes on b5, c6, bishop to a4, and then Paul Morphy castled knight from g to e2, d5. E takes on d5, c takes on d5, and black is controlling the center. Paul Morphy is already better. d4, e takes on d4, knight takes on d4. Paul Morphy played queen to b6, attacking the knight, double attacking the knight. So in this position, if Charles Mead moves his knight to somewhere, bishop takes on f2, and that's check, and white is losing the castling rights. So we have knight from c to e2, defending on d4. Paul Morphy played bishop to a6, attacking the defender. c3, adding more protection to the knight. But then Paul Morphy captures the knight with the bishop, the best move. And Charles Mead captures the bishop with the king desperately. And everything is collapsing for white, but let's take it back. After bishop takes on e2, if queen takes bishop, then bishop takes knight, c takes on d4, queen to b4 check, also attacking the bishop, Let's say defending with the bishop and then queen takes on a4. And black is a piece up. So after bishop takes on e2. If knight takes bishop, then bishop takes on f2. And that's check and it looks very ugly for white. So king takes on e2. And Paul Morphy played. Bishop takes on d4. Queen takes on d4. And in this position, Charles Mead wants to exchange the queens, but Paul Morphy played queen to a6, check, king to f3, rook to c8, b3, knight to e4, bishop to b2, knight to c6, attacking the queen, bishop takes knight, rook takes bishop on c6, king to e3, but then rook to e8 by Paul Morphy. And in this position, Paul Morphy is threatening some discover attacks to the king. And Charles Mead played rook from h to e1. And Paul Morphy plays an expected move. He played knight takes on c3. That's check. King to f3. Rook to f6. Check. King to g3. Paul Morphy played queen to d6. Defending f4. And then Paul Morphy played knight to e2. That's check. Forking the king and the queen. How to defend? Well, there is no defense. So Charles Mead played rook takes knight. Sacrificing the exchange. Rook takes rook. Rook to f1. And Paul Morphy played. Rook to g6, check. King to f3, rook from e, takes on g2. And Charles Mead resigned. And this is the last position of the game. What is the threat in this position? Well, let's play a ridiculous move. Let's say if a3, then rook 6 to g3. And that's checkmate. And let me show you some possible continuations. 
What would happen if White would not resign? Well, White is getting checkmated very soon. So let's say if Rook to F2, a Queen to E6, if Rook takes on G2, Queen takes on H3, Rook to G3, Rook takes Rook, King to E2, Rook to G2, Queen to F2, Rook takes Queen. And after this move, if let's say King to E3, then Rook 6 to G3, that's check. And how to defend? Rook to F3, Queen to E6, Queen to E5, Rook takes on F3, King takes on F3, Queen to H3, that's checkmate. After Rook takes on F3, if King to D4, then Rook to D2, King to C5, Queen to B6, that's checkmate again. So there is no hope left for white, as you can see. That's why after Paul Morphy played, Rook takes on G2, Charles Mead resign. And another very beautiful chess game by Paul Morphy. And I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And I hope to see you next time. Take care.